Ivo City, the wait is over. You have voted and the results are here. From a variety of six candidates, you voted him into the office. It was a tight race, but in the end, there can only be one. Everyone, say hello to your new president, President Jonas Green! Yo, what up, Mr. President? Ha! I told you it was an easy win. The guys that score are totally jelly. What a bunch of fags, am I right? By the way, Kalaterna has been asking why you have been at school today. I think that is like the first time I heard her actually mention your existence. Dude, how did this happen? People literally voted for me. They want me to be the president. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do! Great! Now you're thinking like a real politician. Man, I am not in the mood for jokes right now. I'm freaking out over here. How am I supposed to lead an entire city? I can't do shit! Yes! And that is great! It's literally all you have to do. What are you talking about? Nothing! Literally nothing. I mean, come on, man. Evil City was fucked sideways by President Sinister and those golf kids. Or was it vampires? Now oh, we're a bunch of emos. A president who shows zero effort makes zero mistakes. You can literally just chill for the years of your presidency. Legalize a drug here and there and people will love you. By the way, when are you going to legalize weed? Daddy needs his daily dose of dank. I'm talking memes here. Even though I like this as well. I like memes. I don't know. Well, I think I can make things much more worse. And legal weed will be fucking awesome. That's the spirit. Now, let's check out all the super secret shit only the president has access to. I don't think that'd be such a bright idea. As your vice president... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. I will, of course, be your presidential... Uh, vice... Uh, president. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> As your vice president, I advise you to check out all the cool shit in the deep nexus. Didn't President Sinister do some horrible experiments down there or something? Don't you think that's a little dangerous? I think you need another push in the right direction, which in this case is down a mile long elevator shaft. Yeah, go on, bully your new overlord. You truly are the pinnacle of humanity. Your mom is on the pinnacle of my dick! Ha! Oh my god, I'm so freaking funny! Whatever, man. for the presidency, the man of guns and explosions, Mr. Davis Torque. We have our field reporter Dennis Watman in one of the many Torque industry branches with the CEO himself. Dennis, what does Mr. Torque say to his astounding failure in this year's election? Fucking bastard! What the fuck do you want to fuck for me? You work for me! I own you! I own you! Okay, so where's the button for the Deep Nexus? It's not really labeled here. What are you fucking gay? The Deep Nexus won't be a simple button to press. It's a super secret lab you have to say the super secret phrase. <clears throat> Elevator. Access Deep Nexus. Authorization Sinister 69. Access authorized. Entering Deep Nexus labs. Uh, why do you know that? To move the plot forward. The plot? <laughs> Welcome back, Luke. Uh, not kidding. Think I broke a rib. Let's see. Great, the elevator's picking on me too. That was nice. We have to do that again sometime. I hope this is worth it. You know, the internal bleeding I have. Come on. When did I ever disappoint you? I stopped counting, to be honest. The elevator is right. You are a pussy. Are you ready for some awesome science shit? Absolutely not. Pussy! Alright, let's do this. So, uh... So? Hold on, I'm trying to figure out which button won't kill us. How can you say that so casually? Let me just figure this out. Ooh, this one's shiny.
Uh, dude. Hold on, I almost pressed all of them. Uh, dude. Hey, look, there's a big red one. Dude! I got this. <sighs> Just kidding, bro. Three, two, one, launch, baby! <laughs> Oh, hey! There's one that says open door. I think it is a long shot by YOLO. <laughs> As I was saying... Let's do this. Well, we just doomed millions of people to an explosive device. Sweet! Look at all this science! Holy hell, what is all this? I don't know, but let's touch it all very carelessly. <laughs> well, we're fucked already. Kiss me! Nope! Hey! Look at this! A radio? Let's switch to the channels. Is it you again, Sinister? Stop calling our ship, you fucking creep! Use your presidential diplomacy powers, Mr. President! Uh, uh hello? It's... It's me, the... President of Evo City? Sinister? God, you sound even more gay than usual! Wow, so now the weird radio voice is insulting me as well? I'm not Sinister, you dipshit. Sinister's dead, I guess. What? You fucking kidding me? No, I'm President Green. Still sounds dumb. Guys! Sinister's dead. We've been making this trip for nothing. And there's a new president, and he sounds like a complete pothead. And again, rude and just not necessary. Who are you even? If I tell you that, you must do me a favor, K pal. I will not take off my clothes. The fuck no? How, how do you make that jump? Holy shit. Listen, man. Me and my crew have been floating around with a great nothing for around eight months now. Jack constantly vomits on the floor, and I think his stomach has to stop to burn from the fucking metal plating. Don't touch that. Sorry. I'm sure Dr. Jillian shed himself. He just does not admit it, but the entire ship smells like ass. Okay, when did I ask for this much detail? Hold on a second. <laughs> there we go. Life and Rosie, pal. It's actually shit. Doctor shit. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Kalama. <laughs> uh, whatever. Since you have found a long-range communicator, you must be in Sinister's secret, but actually kinda not so secret, but we just roll with it for story's sake. Laboratory. However you managed to do that. Yeah, well, I'm still wondering that myself. Don't break our P, bro. Okay, shut up. You do have to find something for me. It's a board computer for an interstellar spaceship thingy. Yeah, it should be somewhere in the lab. Uh, how the hell are we supposed to find anything in here? There's so much shit laying around. Found it. What? How did you find that? You you didn't even move. Great. Now to the fun part. You guys like teleporters? Uh, no. Perfect. Because there's a teleportation device somewhere in Sinister's lab. It can tear a It can transport all matter through space in a matter of seconds. So yeah, a, a teleporter. We've been working on it before Sinister ran for presidency. Pretty neat, huh? I guess. Yeah, 
But there's also like a 30% chance the teleporter just evaporates everything in a one mile radius. So the process of getting evaporated actually is quite fast, but for the victim it feels like hours of excruciating pain. The most intense pain known to mankind. Holy shit. So I want you guys to take the computer, put it in the chamber and then activate the teleporter. Oh, and again, 30% chance of horrific demise. Just wanted to drop that in again. 30% isn't that bad. Oh man, you don't even want to know what the other 70% are because that's some real fucked up shit. Absolutely not. I'll be your best friend. I'm in. What? No, are you serious? He said there's a 100% chance we're gonna die from this. I actually did not say that, but to be honest, death would still be a good outcome compared to all the other crazy shit that could happen. You're such a negative Nancy. And you're a cancerous Clancy. Oh, fuck this shit. Alright, radio guy, hit us with the coordinates. Matt Barry, hit them with it! Uh, yeah. Our coordinates are 4206991111. Is this a joke? How do you expect us to- Got it. Okay, great. Now place the computer inside the chamber. This is fucking crazy. Why are we even doing this? We don't even know your name. My name's Buzz. Uh, doesn't ring a bell. What the fuck, man? Did you watch my YouTube videos? I got like almost 90 subs, bro. No, stop breaking the fourth wall. For fuck's sake. Alright, can we focus on the important here? We really need to have a computer up here, man. Otherwise, we'll eventually end up drowning in human excretion. And I really am not looking forward to that. Jack, no, God, not on the console! Oh no, the radio broke. Okay, what are you doing? Did you not hear him say? This is an amazing teleportation device which will instantly put you on a rad spaceship. No, I didn't. We clearly have a communication problem. Get into the teleporter, man. From all the bad ideas you've had, this is literally the worst. Like, this literally can and most likely will kill us both. Nothing, nothing in the entire galaxy could bring me to step into this thing with you. Proceed. Oh my god, fuck all of you. This is going to be great. Interesting. <laughs> 